hey <laughs> hey you guys hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel my name is akusia benhini if you're new you're welcome if you're a tenant subscriber hey boo what it do i love you okay i love you and i appreciate you so much for always coming back to watch my video okay you're my girl so in today's video i am going to be doing a fall makeup look um which is literally going to include my fall makeup routine so um when the weather changes you change okay <laughs> and it's currently fall here so um i forget that i'll show you guys um what my foundation routine will be looking like right now because the weather is drying so everything is changing um so if you're interested to see what my fall foundation routine will be then please keep on watching also this is not just fall whichever part of the world you're in as long as it's cold this is the kind of makeup that you need to be doing okay wherever you are as long as you find that the weather there has changed it could be hammer tan it could be whatever it just needs to be a colder climate wherever you are so if you're interested then please and let's get into the video <laughs> So, um, first things first, you guys know, I always say this, but skin prep is uh, the first thing that you need to do, okay? I don't know why I talk like that sometimes. Uh, the first thing you need to do. <laughs> but skin prep is the first thing that you need to do, is the most important part of your makeup. Um, it's the one thing that can help you look flawless at the end of the day. It's the one thing that can help your makeup last longer, and then also it protects your skin from the makeup. It's not like the makeup is any harmful thing, but you know, you just need to protect your skin regardless. So skin prep is done. I do have a skincare video. I will link it down below, so you should check it out, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go straight into the makeup. With fall, um, with fall, with cold weather, with dry weather, what you want to do is up your hydration, okay? You want to make sure that you're doing makeup that is not like so mattifying because the weather in itself is very dry. The atmosphere is dry, so you want to add on more moisture. So with that being said, you want to look at products that will give you a much more dewy look as compared to a much more matte look, okay? But because my skin is naturally um, oily, to combination skin i don't like to do too much dewy because it's not for me i'm just saying that if you have a good skin like a normal skin then you could probably do like dewy because dewy is for fall um but i'll still be using a couple of dewy products because you guys also do know that i don't like for my makeup to be like too dry or i don't like for my like look to look like too powdery too dry so i do like to have a balance in between um so for primer i'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Master Blair Stick. Why are you not focusing? This stuff doesn't dry me out. It gives me a nice blur. It blurs out my pores and that's the main thing that I need for this look. And then um, the next thing that I'll do is go in with my foundation. Under normal circumstance, I'll have done my concealer, but because of, you know, you guys and tutorial and because a lot of people are pretty much used to doing foundation before concealer, I don't want to confuse you, but I am good on that side. <laughs> so for foundation, my favorite, okay? My favorite fall foundation is definitely this girl right here. If you've been following me for a while, then you would know that I've been using this foundation for a long time. I mean, this like brand, um, whenever it's fall, this is what I reach out for. This is the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. So this is not a mattifying foundation. Love this stuff. This is my fall shade as well. This is in the shade Coco. Usually in summer, because of like the tan and everything, I get a bit darker. So I'm not... I'm going to try as much as possible to not use so much of this because, see, it is kind of bright. It is bright, actually. I'm going to go ahead and just blend that in. And just like I always do, I'm going in the areas where I need foundation the most. It needs to be like proper, proper fall. Just so that my fall skin <laughs> will come through. And I didn't really go over my forehead with foundation as you guys saw 
so this is pretty much what the foundation will be looking like also fall is really about full coverage makeup <laughs> and i know a lot of you or majority of you that follow me um kind of like my subtle looks you know no makeup makeup but fall is really about makeup okay just so you know so for a concealer you need a full coverage concealer and my favorite girl is the l'oreal infallible pro matte full wear concealer this is also really bright but i'm also going to contour just to balance this out because this foundation definitely needs contouring <laughs> if i don't contour with this foundation i'm gonna look so funny after so um i am also gonna try as much as possible to not use so much concealer because this is really bright so i'm gonna do the popular concealer trick and also this dries down really fast so i'm gonna um, go in sections i'll blend my under eye and then i'll do my forehead and then i'll do the other parts of my face And also a full coverage concealer covers you up so nicely okay guys um, I don't know if you I don't like to compare product but this as compared to the everyday Maybelline um, concealer that I use this is much more heavier this has a much more creamier texture so this will cover up a lot of things like a lot more dark under eyes you know so see I'm also very light-handed with how much of this I use that's my daughter that you guys hear in the background that's if you hear her um, but I use so like so little of this because I don't want to have like too much product sitting on my face at the end of the day even though you're going for a full coverage look you want to make sure it still looks like good you know <laughs> and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and contour with my Juvia's Place contour stick this is not this is like contour concealer <laughs> Also, I do have an in-depth contour and highlighting video, so you can definitely check that out if you like. So that's what it looks like and then i'm gonna go ahead and set the highlighted areas with my loose setting powder i'm sorry if you guys hear all of the noise in the background there's this company around my house and i should have known because they always do this but sometimes it's okay, you know, sometimes I can work with it, but also sometimes it's just really loud and crazy. My finishing powder will balance everything out really nicely. Um, and then I'll use that as well to contour my nose. So relax if you're wondering, relax, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and then we'll do the eyeshadow together okay guys so my brows are done now now i'm gonna go ahead and do my eye area so to prep my eye area i'm gonna use my concealer literally the same concealer that i used for my highlighting and i'm gonna use some of that and then i'm gonna go ahead and set it with my translucent powder
and then guys for fall um, I'd say that you need a neutral eyeshadow palette if you have a palette that gives you a really nice shade of browns you know like just nice toned down neutral shades that will be your perfect palette for fall the palette that i'm going to use is my violet force essentials i'm pretty sure you guys are tired of seeing this bad girl but she's my favorite she's my absolute favorite and for fall i will always reach out for violet force because it also gives you such a nice um, pigment they have a really beautiful pigment so i'm gonna start off i'll put the shades on the screen i'm gonna start off with um the yellow shade the terracotta is it yellow it's, it's terracotta so it's like orange but it's like brown orange it's like it looks orange you know you see it on the screen you get it i'm gonna go ahead and use that in this area right here which is literally my transition area um the vision for this eyeshadow is a brown smoky kind of you know so i'm gonna go in with cinnamon cinnamon is a beautiful brown shade and i'm just gonna place that in the center right here and that's such a beautiful brown shade let me zoom in so that you guys will see oh see that's a really pretty shade then i'm just going to sort of like mix it into the orange that i placed period that's it very simple and i'm gonna do my lower lid oh also for the lower lid i used both colors i used the brown first and then i went ahead to use the um, terracotta color to just sort of brush it out so that is it for the eye area i'm gonna do um a dark brown pencil i don't like <laughs> i do not like a black pencil for my waterline i just find that it's very difficult for me to take off at the end of the day so i prefer this and i'm gonna go ahead and put on a mascara i just like to put on a mascara before i put on my lashes like i like to put on a mascara and then at the end of my i talk with my hung sometimes <laughs> um, but I like to put on a mascara so that I put on my lashes at the end of my look so that's the reason why I like to put on my mascara I want to see if without lashes the eyeshadow is still gonna look good so every time I like to just do my mascara and then be sure that okay everything is okay so even without my lashes I could still look good this eyeshadow because um on a regular i don't like to put on lashes anyway you know so um yeah next i'm gonna go in with blush i probably have to change this blush <laughs> but i'm not i'm not changing it okay i will um but i'm gonna go in with some orange blush okay also for fall if you have like a dark red blush that will also work perfectly but on here we do orange okay <laughs> blush is also going to finish up the look really nicely and then bring more structure back to this face next i'm gonna go in with some highlighter i'm gonna be as subtle as possible because and then i'm gonna go in with my setting powder this is a maybelline um powder foundation i told you guys that my powder was definitely going to sort everything out that's why i love this powder it's the powder foundation from maybelline so yeah so that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and just set my face 
with my e.l.f. setting spray this is going to bring the shine back it's going to bring that healthy glow back um, also uh, what I'll say is if you have a regular facial mist you could use that or you should actually use that I'll use that on top of this <laughs> but not today maybe in another look I'll use that um, but today I'll just go with this so I'm gonna wait for this to set put on my lashes and then I'll come back they will do a cute lip and then that should be it that should be on period guys I know I feel like my lashes are lopsided I feel like this one is lopsided but I'm gonna ignore that because yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take my lip primer I'm gonna go ahead and line my lip so for my lip I'm gonna go for a dark brown shade okay I don't know if it's gonna match the look but I'll try because I want to look you know fall total fall look <laughs> so for my lip I'm gonna go for this this is the elf um, seriously satin lipstick this is in the shade Coco This is really giving me dark and vampy vibes. Ooh. Um, but I'm going to leave it as is. So this is the finished look. <laughs> Comment down below if you like this look. Comment down below if this is something that you're going to try. Okay. Um, the sun keeps going in and coming out. So if you see any lightning change, it's because of the sun. But my lightning is definitely okay um but this is the finished look i absolutely love the lips it's totally out of my comfort zone um but i have it sitting in my stash so i guess it's part of my comfort zone that's why i bought it <laughs> uh, but this is the finished look give me a huge thumbs up if you liked this video if you're um gonna try it also let me know and yes i love you guys i'll see you in my next video Mwah.